Welcome to Daily Hope. I'm Jan Foreman and I'm so glad you're joining me. Today we're going to look at Numbers chapter 4. Sometimes the best way to climb into a scripture lesson is to imagine an opposite story. And we're all familiar with the story of the little red hen, that industrious chicken who had a craving for bread. So she tried to enlist all her barnyard animal friends to help her in plowing the field, sowing the seed, uh, harvest, grinding the grain, baking the bread, but she didn't get one animal taker. And so she did everything herself. She was a super chicken. And that included eating the bread all by herself. So it's kind of a story of selfish choices all the way around, right down to the fact that the chicken did not share any of her bread with her friends. But in Numbers chapter four, we have a very different story. In fact, I wanna call this chapter, Count Me In because it counts all the Levite priests who willingly move the tabernacle of God to a new place. And we read in the very end of the chapter, so Moses, Aaron, and the leaders of Israel counted all the Levites by their clans and families, all the men from 30 to 50 years of age who came to do the work of serving and carrying the tent of meeting, and they numbered 8,580. At the Lord's command through Moses, each was assigned to his work and told what to carry. Thus, they were counted. You know, the heartbeat of this Israelite community was its worship. Now, I love cathedrals, but God didn't build himself one. In fact, he occupied a tent. And in order to deconstruct that furnished tent, he had to enlist the priests, and each one had a very important assignment. If you've ever been tent capping, you know how important it is for everybody to help out. Aaron was an incredible leader as a high priest, but there's no way he could carry the tabernacle by himself. Every priest needed to say, count me in, because they were on the move to the promised land. Numbers 4, I believe, is a picture of my calling and yours as God's people. In Revelation 5.10, it says, You have made them to be a kingdom and priests to serve our God. That means that God has given each one of us as priests an assignment to carry his holy presence into a part of the world that needs his light. And just as the Israelites were advancing through the desert to the promised land, we are also advancing God's kingdom right where we live. God is on the move and we're on the move with him. And so now it's our turn to say, count me in. The little red hen was excited about fresh baked bread, but in Numbers 4, we see God preparing a movable feast. And that's our incredible calling too, to be a part of that, because when we show up and say, count me in, we move that feast of God's presence to new places. But it's easy to lose sight of this high calling. Maybe those barn animals who didn't want to help weren't just lazy, maybe they couldn't connect those small, mundane tasks of sowing seed or plowing to that finished product. And sometimes, you know, I fail to see the significance of my role, and maybe you do too, in God's kingdom as it's advancing. But, you know, whether it's mentoring a, a disadvantaged kid or buying groceries for a neighbor or even calling a friend that you know is hurting, it matters. And this is, I think, especially true of prayer, where we as priests intercede for others. That's what a priest does. We carry their burdens to the throne of God. Oh, what a difference it makes, doesn't it, in this world, when we bring God's presence into a situation like that. So here we step back and we see the big picture and we realize our amazing privilege to carry God's presence to those who really need him. And God has assigned to every one of us a unique and important role. Each one was assigned his work and told what to, get, to carry. So together, we are putting up the tent of God's glory 
to bring the beauty of the Lord to this desperate world. The story of the little red hen, of course it's pure fiction, and not just because chickens can't bake, but because in real life, and especially in God's kingdom, there are no little red hens. There are no super chickens who can do it all or even take my place and yours. When it comes to who is the best person to carry my assigned part in God's kingdom, it's me, it's you. Our response has to be, count me in. Harriet Tubman was a courageous leader who conducted dozens and dozens of slaves to freedom through the Underground Railroad, but she didn't have that success on her own. She relied on dozens of other people, farmers, ministers, boat skippers, wagon drivers, people who weren't afraid to say, count me in. Each person realized that they were part of a bigger story of redemption. And that's our story too. And that's the message of Numbers chapter four. Count me in.